Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Hope all are you well. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily detect the fire on forest using the fire information for resource management system data set. This data set is very important and using this data set we can easily get the data for the forest fire and we also try to monitor a lot of things we can easily do using this data set and this data set is the globally we can easily get this globally for all of region in the world and you can see this data set availability time period is that from year of 2000 to 2024 10 March. okay so it's also updating after some days no problem it's automatically updating this type of data set in google earth engine platform and we can easily uh, get the very update data set for the forest fires. So basically this data set resolution is that 1000 meters. And how they create this data set. So basically uh, you can see this is the data set. It's called the fire information for resource management system. It's a short name about the arms. It is the content the lens fire detection product in rasterized form. And the near real time activity fire location are proposed by lens using the standard modis this data set okay and also thermal anomalies product so in this data set we can also get some band look like this band here you can see we can find out that one kind of band it's called the t21 and this bands mainly it's the brightness temperature of a fire pixel using modded channels mainly band 21 and 22 okay so in this time we are used this t21 band and we can easily detect the fire so here you can see i already opened this code we can get this type of result for this specific boundary i simply choose my study area suppose it's my study area so now from this study area i want to get this type of region for me this type of region is that a fire between the specific time period we can get this type of fire okay so in this time you can see and we can get this result for year of 2018 first august to 10 august this time period two days interval you can get this time and here you can find out this type of a uh, fire okay you can see in this type of fire we can get from here so it's very easy way we can easily apply so first of all you can simply import your study area it can be your shape file it can be your boundary so in this time i just take a rectangle this type of boundary okay and for that i simply call my data set so this data set i want to filter my specific time so you can simply filter your specific time and further you have to select your specific band so in this time i just use the t21 and i calculated that mean and then clip with my study area okay so for that i just simply visualize this type of map so here you can see we can get this type of forest fire mapping look like that and from here you can easily uh, click on here and then click then we also get about this pixel value about this forest fire we can get the t21 mainly 412 and this is the mainly show about that television unit it is the brightness temperature of a fire pixel using modis channel 21 and 22 so in this time this type of yellow color identify about the high brightness temperature and uh, uh, you can see the click on here so this type of yellow color identify about the high brightness temperature and yellow color simply click on here then we also get the low about that you can get about 333 about that okay so it's a more high okay, red color is in the high so in this time we put this type of color you can see red is show about the low then orange and yellow you will also show about the very very high temperature value for that we can get the 422 temperature so if you want you can also monitor the forest fire you can just use this data set and it's a totally ready-made data set uh, it's a fire information of the resource management system data set and you can see data set provided mainly it's provided the nasa lands and iso risk so you can also try use this data set and you can also monitor the forest fire in the real time activities so you can also try to check this data set and further if you face any problem regarding any issue you can also let me know i also guide you thank you for asking that